Hello all, Scott here and welcome to Let's Play Void Destroyer 2. This is a sequel to a game that came out about two years ago and it's due to hit Steam Early Access in the next couple of months. I've got the developer here who's been working on the game to hopefully uh, show some of the new things that have been added to the game as give people an idea of what's been changed as I play through it. And most likely make myself look an idiot because I already have them. As either yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, Scotty. Don't worry, man. So, yeah, Scotty's been uh, around the project for a while from Boy Destroyer 1 um, back in the old Kickstarter days. So he's got he's got quite a decent history with the with the game. You know, he's yeah. been one of the earliest people to actually make a video about it. Uh, and just a little minor correction. Early access is probably going to be in about two weeks from now. Ah. Uh, not several months. Ah, fair enough, man. Uh, yeah, I've um, I've jumped into the game now, and I've got the the usual tutorial where you get the basic idea of the controller, which I sort of already know, but as a previous attempt kind of show, I am rusty. Yeah, so, you can get kind of in trouble if you uh, if you think back to the first game, you can kind of get in a little trouble. Scotty knows actually a little more than somebody playing the game fresh would. Yes. You can actually get into trouble via, via some of the things. The game has a lot of options. Um, there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing, so you can actually get yourself in trouble if you, yeah. if you do a particular thing. Yeah, there we but, go. but definitely um, there's, a, there's a tutorial, and if you follow that step by step, you should be more or less okay, I hope, you know, if I, if I did my job right. Yeah, so I'm uh, now at the part where I need to destroy these crates. It just gives you a basic idea of how uh, the ship behaves when you're shooting, uh, and it kind of gives you, just introduces you to the concept of combat. Now, yeah, there's, a, there's a few very yeah. important concepts, and one of them is, is actually targeting something. I've seen some players try to shoot stuff like eyeball it. Oh yeah, that's that's how habit I make. Like I I play a lot of. Um, like World War Two fighter games, you know, where you're uh, in, like, say, a Spitfire. Right, right, right. And you have to eyeball it. You've got no, uh, you've got no visual aids. Where with this, you can just do a left click. Yeah. So there's different kinds of hit weapons in games. You know. Uh, yeah. Sorry, like weapons. So some might be like hit scan, where they shoot a array from where you are and where your object is, so the hit yes. is instant. And they might actually like expand the raid to be more like a rectangle. And depending with what type of game, what type of mechanics, sometimes that works perfectly fine. And I know what you're talking about because I used to play those uh, World War II fighters or, or yeah. more Ooh. like the yeah, 15. Yeah. But here, um, because of how, moment, how, how there's momentum, your ship moving, the object moving, and then the projectile inheriting your movement um, and having a velocity having like almost like a physical presence it, it can be hard to hit something in three-dimensional space like this when you add all this up so the ship will help you but you have to actually target it for it to know what it's helping you with so targeting something is just like makes makes the game go from like impossible to to playable quite easy uh, yeah. so by the way how do you pronounce that guy's name is it Poluton? The guy. Uh, well, actually, it's like a like a Greek god of the underworld. Oh yeah. Uh, so it's like Pluton. Pluton. Really. Yeah. I yeah, am a planet. Things. Damn it! I am a planet. Pluto. <laughs> Some of the things I never pronounce. So you know, like yeah. Yes. How do you pronounce this? And I'm like, Ugh, I don't yeah. know, man. You yeah. Know? So this is a part. Makes your job a little harder. Yeah. This is a part I got to before when I made myself look an idiot. I now need to jump. To. The another plan. I need to jump to another system because we've basically been attacked by that Pluton guy. Now, in a previous attempt, a previous like my very first time losing this game, I forgot to turn on time cut time time dilation compression. So I ended up getting into a stage where it was going to take me like thirty minutes to get from A to B. Don't make that mistake because it's not very fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not about the uh, long, drawn out going from A to B, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I really try to to avoid that, you know, where where you're flying thirty minutes and fighting, you know, five minutes. Yes. It's more like you're you're flying 
20 seconds, 30 seconds, and then fighting, you know, or trading, mining, docking, upgrading the ship. It, it's not about so much about, like, you know, watching the, the space clouds go by. Mm. So, I've now um, appeared at the civilian outpost. And yeah. this guy is wanting a reply. Uh, he's, I've got a bit of music in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Hopefully all loyalty free, otherwise I'll get a slap on the wrist. Yeah. <laughs> to the project. Yeah. yeah. No worries. All the music music is original to, to the project. Um, I have a great sound designer and music. They're both actually the same guy. Oh, right. The sound effects and the music. They're all from part one. Uh, the same guy has been, been really awesome to work with. Uh, anytime I need him, I'm like, hey, man, I need something. Right. And then uh, a few days later, usually I get it, whether it's a piece of music or some sound effects, usually faster yeah yeah it, it's hard finding like good um good reliable help sometimes in the in the game game the business but this guy's been awesome okay so luckily the the uh the civilian uh outpost isn't oh isn't armed because i just accidentally left click uh, right clicked rather than left clicked so i shot the space station i'm meant to be docking at which is a bit of a scary moment I was just expecting lasers to fly everywhere and instant death. Yeah, the game will be uh, brutal to you if you're a jerk, but you have to really push the envelope. So let's say you were to shoot another ship, it wouldn't right away attack you. You know, it'll give you a little bit of like a warning. Hey, you know, stop that or whatever. And then it might it might mop the floor with your little basic fighter. But actually, shooting a base, uh, you can shoot it as much as you want. It's not going to care. Your weapons are like nothing it, it has to worry about it's like your weapons are like space rain to it you know what yeah. I mean? yeah so right now I'm getting the introduction where there's some kind of uh, war going on there's been probably many casualties it's like oh I'm flying into the ship now into the station oh god yeah. is it meant to do that I don't think it is ah okay that was Right, it's telling me to follow. Right, so target the bit. So fly into the docking area. Target must. So target must be on the dock. So left click on the base, and then fly in. Base must be targeted to dock. So do I just go towards the back? You're gonna see. A there we go. Control. It's done it now. I I. I just saw the wall coming towards me and I was like I don't want to crash into that wall that would be painful right so I have now been given 487 credits and which you can't buy anything with uh, so you could repair your ships though, ship though in case you took some damage somewhere it didn't take it away so let's have a look there's a mission to destroy some debris let's turn up the difficulty so I get 1,600 yeah why don't you free. not turn up the difficulty do yourself a favor. Um, yeah, just keep it at the keep it at the difficulty level. So, so some missions will be so. So the way the game is organized is you can choose the difficulty of the missions. Okay. So if you want a challenge, you can certainly do it. Um, but if you're not if you're not 100% there yet, you should you should try the lower difficulty missions. Okay. Right, I've I've just saved my game because just in case I do horribly die. I've got somewhere to go back to. Yeah, so, luckily the first, the destroy the debris mission is uh, is one. It's meant for new players. Okay. Uh, where the debris is not going to shoot back at you, uh, so you should be okay unless like a pirate decides to to uh, to mess with you. But that area of space should be should be pretty safe. But either way, like uh, increasing difficulty should not be taken too lightly. You know, it, right. it gives you more money. But sometimes, let's say you increase the difficulty and it makes the mission like twice as hard, let's say. Yes. But in the time to complete that mission, maybe you could have done two missions. Oh, uh, yeah, I understand. So there's, depending on, um, depending on circumstances, uh, that, that should be taken with care. You know? So I'm sometimes, guessing... Sometimes you're going to want like a really difficult mission, then you're going to hire some, some ships for help. Uh, and that's definitely that's definitely viable. But just in the beginning, players should should you know kind of take it easy. I guess. Yeah. 
So, currently I'm waiting for the ability to calculating overworld position. It, uh, done. So, control enter. There we go. So, I'm having to jump towards the debris. So, oh, there it is. No, wh where's it going? There we go. It went the wrong way. So it's a red. So the red marker is the de destroy debris, isn't it? Yeah, so. yeah. There's, there's, a, there might be various red markers, but there's a red arrow. Yes. And that's gonna mark your destroy debris object. And sometimes there's like a green arrow, let's say for escort mission. Yeah. Or a yellow arrow for um, scouted asteroid field or whatever type of mission. It might have a different marker. But okay. the mission marker tends to be this sort of. Uh, Gray and then some other color, uh, sort of pointing arrow. Okay, yeah, I made the mistake of going out the wrong side of the the uh, the bubble, so yeah, I'm having to. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. You know, there, there's a there's always a little bit of a learning curve. Yes. Space sims are kind of notorious for that. Now, in recent memory, they've been like more and more dumbed down. Yes, um, they have. Yeah, I, I agree with that. You, where you can't, where you almost can't make a mistake, you know. Yeah. That's not the case here. You can you can make a mistake, but that's that's part of the fun of learning the game. You know? Yeah. Uh, no worries about that. You're just you're learning how to fly a spaceship. Uh, <laughs> in yeah. Space. So yeah. you know, don't be hard on yourself. Just take it as part of the process of uh, of learning a new game. You know, there used to be like an amazing thing with games where you actually had to learn it. Yes. Um, I'm about to shoot all this debris now, and hopefully, I won't be killed by any damn pirates. Yeah. Because each mission has a bit of a challenge to it and a bit of a something that's unique about it. And you're going to see in a second what the destroy the green mission, what the challenge of it is. Yeah, Even because without the shoot package, it's still going to be it's it's spinning around. Be. It's like come back here. Yeah, so so that's the thing with the destroy the green mission is that it's it's moving right. It's in space. It's moving towards the base. That's why you want to destroy it. Otherwise, who cares? There's yeah. a ton of debris everywhere, but because this one is heading towards the base, they yeah. actually bother to pay somebody to destroy it. Yeah. So this mission tests your Dead. knowledge of the thrusters, the engines, the controls. There's no speed limit in space. Yep. Uh, and you have the afterburner with the tab key, and you can speed up with uh, the W key, and the plus key um, will increase your speed setting, which your ship will then try to automatically get. Um, so you got to sort of almost match speed with it. Yeah, I've already killed it, by the way. Oh, okay, great. I, 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 my, <laughs> I, I, I just, I just murdered the damn, the damn thing. So that's, great. that's exactly what I hoped would happen. You know, for like a, this easy mission, yeah. it doesn't pay much, but um, that's exactly what I hope would happen for players to be able to kill that. Now, if you increase the difficulty, yeah, that debris would be flying like at twice the speed. I bet you secretly wanted me to crash into that debris and die horribly. Yeah, actually, you can't die via crashing into stuff. Oh. You probably add a little bit of damage, but the yeah. thing with uh, collisions and space sims is sometimes it's not it's not the player's fault for crashing into. Stuff. Oh, I, I don't mind that. I like, for instance, I play space engineers, and I like the idea that I can create a ship, spend ages on the ship, right? Save it, and then just crash it into an asteroid for laugh. But just, that's definitely part of the game with the. Uh, with how it warps, how it destroys, you know? Yes. There's some games where, I don't want to name any names, but mm. they really, really would piss me off. That's why I, I, I didn't make Boy Destroy like this. Yes, where I understand, yeah. you just yes. touch another bigger object, you just instantly die. You explode. Just right away you explode. I'm talking about the X games. Oh, all right, okay. Not yeah. all of them, but some of them, you touch something larger than you, and it just destroys you. The reason they do that is because they don't want ships, or that's why I'm assuming as a game developer, they don't want ships to get stuck on each other. Yeah, so, oh yeah, so it's instant, like yeah. One of them. Whichever one's the smallest, they explode. Uh, whereas here in Void Destroyer, I let you be stuck on something, and I hope that the player is going to be uh, smart enough to hit the reverse key or whatever, yeah. to get out of the way. Uh, but at a, at, a, at a cost of, like, you actually being able to bounce off of things. Okay, well... So, Against your better judgment, I've just set all the difficulties to highest because I feel like it to give myself. Yeah, a the nice thing is the nice thing is is that um, in the you actually unlock difficulty levels. All right. 
So right now you can only you can only go one step above the yes. max difficulty level. So like a beginner, I think it's novice beginner. I think that's the yes. terminology. So there's like then there's like competent and uh, expert and like elite or something. I think those God, are leveled. Yeah, you just need godlike where the entire universe wants to kill you. Yeah, yeah, and because it's early access, not all the difficulties uh, scale the right way. All right, so um, it but, can cause death. Very quickly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down and stick yeah. upside down. Uh, there we go. Sometimes, like, if you have the easiest difficulty, you'll get helpers to help you out. Oh, right, yeah, you'll get some allies. And sometimes, uh, higher difficulty, you'll get more enemy ships incoming. So, it, it definitely sometimes you don't want to go uh, go too out, but it's okay. You know, making mistakes and getting defeated is okay. It's going to teach you a lesson. Like, okay, you can't handle that yet. You got to do more missions here. Yeah. You gotta upgrade your ship. You gotta try a different tactic. Um, maybe you should leave that mission for later. Yes. You should go to another base with another mission you might like. Maybe you just don't like that particular mission. Right. I'm about to fly to and that de uh, destroyed the debris mission again. Uh, and then I'm gonna do a, the courier missions that are there. Okay. Yeah, once you do that destroy the debris mission, you should have enough money to do, get a uh, basic turret. Alright. And that should help you quite a lot with uh, with combat missions. And don't forget you have the secondary fire. Oh yes, the, is that, isn't that the C key? The uh, X key by, by default, it's the X key. And this secondary fire is this, this, this uh, hit scan weapon where you don't have to meet your target. So if you yeah. feel like a ship you're shooting at is like really dodging you, you could use that to like just, 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 uh, just nail it from a... Uh, but hell, that that sh that ship is going really fast. Yeah, that's what happens when you when you uh, up the difficulty. The difficulty. Yeah, you can still catch up to it. Cause yeah, I'm catching it now. You know, you're in a small fighter. You have really good acceleration. But let's say you were in a heavy fighter right now. Uh, this mission would actually be impossible. Quite a lot harder. Now, there's abilities that give you like just crazy amounts of thrust. Uh, like yeah. if you remember from part one, there's like a charge ability. Yes. Uh, you still have that here if you buy it for your ship. So okay. even in the big fighter, you might still be able to catch up to it. You would just have to have that ability. So there's there's pros and cons to smaller and larger ships. I'm still speeding up, by the way. Still trying to catch this guy. I'm, I'm going at 560. I am catching it, but yeah. I kind of screwed up a little bit at first. So. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Um, yeah, it's not going to kill you back, so you're okay. But see, this mission is going to teach you like the basics of flight. So let's say in the future you're running from an enemy. Yes. You should understand that like you can go faster. You know, every mission tries to kind of teach the player a little bit. That that's my intention anyway. You know, sometimes as, as game developers we don't nail exactly what we're trying to go for, uh, but we certainly <laughs> have our hopes and dreams. Yeah. Games. Yeah. You know? So here you should understand after you do this mission, it's like how to accelerate forward, and that's important if you're running away because sometimes you might have to just run away. Or let's say you're chasing something else, like an enemy ship, or right now, yes, China. yeah. Then, uh, then that, that's an important skill to have, like judging the distance, acceleration, and then of course shooting at it while you're while you're going really fast is important too. Yeah. Right now, I'm just beating the living hell out of it, hoping it dies before it hits the station. There we go. Boom. Nice. It's you gone. should have enough money to get that basic turret now. That's okay. going to help you quite a lot. Right, I'll give it a try. I'm just going to make sure I'm facing the right direction. Yeah, and if you notice, in, in space, you can see like a little icon for a base. There's a little icon for the base, the four dots. Uh, the three dots, rather. No, that's a, that's a field. That's a field. The base is going to look like a house. I oh, think. there we go. Like, yeah, it looks like it does. It looks like an igloo. Okay, there we go. <laughs> house. Yes, it's. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm in the I'm in the US and you're in uh, you're in the UK. Yes. You have a different house igloo. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it, it's like it's very cold in space. So someone's yeah. just got an asteroid of an igloo on top of it. House or a castle, <laughs> but if, if you say igloo, then hey, yeah. who might judge you guys? In the it's UK. an igloo. I have a habit of pressing shift, which makes myself go very slow. Because I'm so used to shift being sprinting games. 
Like, you know, you know where... I, I, I haven't gone... Yeah, have I? No, I haven't gone the wrong way. I thought I'd gone the wrong way. Yes, I did, kind of. But I caught myself before going as stupidly fast. Yeah, you can always rebind all the keys. You know, there's so many games out there that, that you might... Um, you might like a different key binding. So the game is fully rebindable, so... Um, Let's say you always hit shift and, and you want to do afterburner or whatever. Yes, that that's the thing. Yeah, uh, I'll, for for any like future playing, I probably will do. Um, I'll, but I'm probably gonna play for about another ten minutes or so. But I don't want to ruin too much of the game for players. Uh, I want to give new players uh, like the ability to learn uh, what they're doing. Yeah, definitely. You know, from my perspective, like hey. Know, the game doesn't have enough exposure, so any exposure is good. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I would rather not have like every single streamer show the first like ten minutes of the game because it's kind of yeah. like the learning process. Well, uh, but if you you know play a little bit and then maybe buy another ship, do a few more missions, show that off, that that'd be that'd be awesome. All right, so purchase ship. So I don't want to purchase a ship, do I? I want to go no, back. You can't afford one just yet, having done uh, two missions, but you'll soon be able to afford one if you do, like, maybe, let's say, three more or five more missions, depending okay. on the difficulty, and depending if you get any bounties from killing pirates, but there's a current ship button. Is it the defense turret? Yeah, 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 the defense right. turret. So, if you remember from Boy Destroyer 1, turrets are really, really, really powerful things. Yes, they are. They'll auto-track enemies. Right. And they have, like, a... This turret has... A, all the coverage underneath you so if you try to like orient yourself where then you're quote unquote above an enemy it will have the maximum like effect on it by the way can i run a, i've noticed i've just noticed i can move about in the hangar is yeah, it definitely it, it's uh it's it's a sort of uh you know it's got the fps type of uh, controls wasd yeah and i can so if you hold I down the right mouse button you can, yes uh, you can look around yeah, yeah I'm wandering around is, now. The hangar is like to, to give you a little more flavor uh, to what ship you're getting, to make you feel good. Like, oh wow, look, this ship is bigger. Look how cool it is. That type of stuff. Now, maybe in Boy Destroyer Three, if, if, if you know, if I, if Boy Destroyer Two is successful enough, and I'm able to make Boy Destroyer Three, uh, then we'll talking like adding like first-person shooter elements to yeah. it. I would really like to be able to press a button at the end of this dock. And just shoot myself out into space, just to <laughs> just to do it without the ship, just to yeah. <laughs> because who knows? Who knows? You know, uh, early access, full release. I hope that there's a way of like you being in a little space suit outside. Yes. Some games did. I think that I think that's really cool. You know, I'm a game developer, indie game developer, right? Whatever that means. But I'm also a gamer, so you know, cool stuff like that I want too. So. You know, I can't make like too many promises because we're oftentimes yes. we developers are really guilty of that. You know, we we get too excited to make too many promises. What I want to add to the game and make things as cool as I possibly can. What would be nice, uh, just like a personal thing, a lot of it's contained in the menu, like the menu along the bottom. Uh, mm -hmm. It would be nice that say you can run to X door to do something. Like, yeah, I got you, like a little terminal type of idea. Well, yeah, because um, the, like, I just found the ability to run around. I would like the ability to say, if I want to see, oh shit, I've been, I've been intercepted. I've been in, intercepted by pirates. Yeah, they don't like you uh, being a courier for the civilians. Oh, go, what are you? I can't even see you. So, yeah, so here you have an option of running away or, or fighting. Uh, so running away is always always an option. Let's say your mission is too difficult, or yeah, you could always run away, or you can fight. And and um, depending on the difficulty, it depends how many ships you get you. Oh, there you are. There's two. Yeah, two against one might be a bit of a bit of a challenge, but um, it's it's definitely doable. Now you could always hire like somebody to help you. Right. Or if you decrease the difficulty, you should have a helper with you. So just keep that in mind. Let's say a mission is too difficult for you, or you're constantly getting stomped. Yeah. Uh, you could try running, or you could try lowering the difficulty. Uh, and eventually, you're not gonna have to do that. Then you're gonna increase the difficulty. You know what I mean? Yes. Once you get to your space legs. Uh, My space legs. <laughs> yeah. 
they're going to be like melting faces. You know, once you get a better ship, once you get some upgrade speed, shield generators, uh, like a forward deflector shield, like that just blocks Yeah, because I'm about to die, because I just thought, bugger, I'm going to take him off. Yeah, and even in overworld mode, when they're trying to intercept you, you can always like try to outrun yep. them, and you're in a fast ship. It's I just good. died. <laughs> I died horribly. And there's also a, uh, there's also tutorials inside of when you're docked, there's also tutorials there. Yes. Oh yeah, also yeah. A combat tutorial to just just help you out with the basics too. Um, yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of help for the player if the player, you know, is invested enough to to look into it. You know, and, and again, the game does have a learning curve. It's not as big as Void Destroyers ones because you just have the single ship. You don't have a fleet like in Void Destroyer one. Yeah. But there is a learning curve. There's some things to learn. The game will will definitely tell you when you're doing something wrong, like right? who's killing you. But at the same time, you can lower the difficulty, you can do some easier missions, you can upgrade your ship some more, or you can use different tactics. Yeah. In Void Destroyer 1, I think I did a few videos where I uh, I just kind of uh, made some massive battle missions for the... Just, yeah, just, yeah, and yeah, yeah, battle editor, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, will, the, I, will that be a thing again? I can't remember if there's a, uh, yeah. a, a simulator. Yeah, again. Those yes. So in uh, Boy Destroyer 1, when you destroyed ships or when you built new ships, you unlock them in the battle editor. Yes. Which, for those new to the project, it's, it's like a map editor. You can just make whatever battles you want. Uh, that still exists here. Um, in fact, before buying something, you can test it in the simulator. Um, yeah. Test it out, see if you want to spend money on it, including ships. Uh, if you buy a new ship, then it gets unlocked in the battle editor. Or if you destroy it enough times, it'll also get unlocked. So that definitely does exist again. Right. I'm going. Oh, there's only one pirate ship this time. Okay, so I'm, cool. I'm going to take him on. You got a good, uh, good roll of the dice on that one. Yeah. Now keep in mind, you know, maybe you don't want to talk while you're focusing on killing the thing. That's always a mission. Um, I, I, I'm kind of used to it. Okay. That's because good. I'm not, I'm uh, yeah, I, I'm used to it. Like, uh, like doing YouTube videos for two years. You kind of get used to uh, just talking to people, the just adrenaline, the adrenaline and the literally <laughs> talking shit while you. Uh, if this guy would just oh, there's the t okay, so that's the the, the target button. Fuck. Okay. You definitely want to hit T to target it. Well, I've got him targeted, but I'm just trying. There we go. Calling everyone you know, apologize. No, I will not apologize. <laughs> Some trash talk in space. The evolution of trash talk, according to me. Yes. Well, uh, yeah. Well, at least uh, you're doing better than No Man's Sky. And you can actually trash talk uh -huh. them back. Let's say, let's say you're protecting a, a transport. Oh yes. And you trash talk the guy. He's gonna attack you instead of the transport. You know, if you're if you're close enough. Yeah, he'll attack me instead. Yeah. Definitely trash talk, or if you actually just give these guys actually, maybe not these guys because these guys specifically want to stop you from delivering the, the data in the career mission. But oh. other pirates, you could actually just buy them. Right, well, I'm gonna run now because the game just threw a coat, just threw a curveball at me uh -huh. and said, No one told me it was howdy doody time. <laughs> yeah, that might be a little bit too American centric of humor, uh, and maybe a little old. Old humor, uh, Did, was that an ally who said that or an enemy? No, that was uh, that was an enemy. Yeah. Uh, that's the other thing. So because the game is a sandbox, like there might be like a bounty hunter or military patrol near you. Yes. And it might actually help you out, come in and, and kill whoever's whoever's after you. But the other aspect is is that if you kill that pirate, you're gonna get some money for uh, killing him or her, whoever whoever's in there. Yeah. That's another way of making money, is just, just hunting pirates. But right now, I've got two pirates on my ass. Yeah. Ah, yeah, so run away, run away. Do, run away towards that base you're supposed to go to. Yes. Once you're sufficiently far away from them, and you should be able to accelerate faster than them, don't forget to use the afterburner. I am doing the, the afterburner is currently spazzing. It's like... You should be able to hit, get into overworld mode, and you should be able to be faster than them, and hit the yeah. base. Yeah. When you hit the base, there'll be all kinds of defenders there. Yeah, uh, and then, and then you should be able to dock and get those get those credits, and then you you might try a lower difficulty on your on your next pass or hiring some help. Yeah, 
Okay, so once I get to this station, I'll uh, stop recording for now. Uh, just because we've been recording for 30 minutes. And nice I, I know, and the, the file size for the recording is going to be gigantic. So, come on. I'm currently heading towards like what looks like something that may be on fire. I guess in that station, maybe. Huh. It's uh, like... The pictures are on fire. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's uh, it's a, it's the artificial sun. I got what you're saying. Is it the artificial sun? It's like, is it? Yeah. There's an artificial sun in the in the area of space you're in. Yeah, yeah. It must be. Yeah. Don't want to sun. fly into it. Really? But, uh, unless you want a few lives, yeah, you can definitely you can definitely burn up into it. But uh, okay. Uh, can I? Can I? Aim it too close. Yeah. Once you're once once you're far enough, you should be able to get into overworld mode. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to run. I'm getting away from the bloody. Yeah, and they're trying to get you. Yeah, I mean, it's like yeah. a turtle running away from a slightly slower turtle. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in a fast ship, so yeah, as long as you just constantly hammer the W key oh. to accelerate forward. According. Uh, it's your afterburner. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, one of the. Uh, one of the trash talkers just said, tell the creator to work a bit harder next time. Yeah. So you might want to work. With, you might want to work a little bit harder next time. I'm just saying that. That's what the game said to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if anybody has better insults, uh, they're they're welcome to to send them off to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of funny when I was putting the insults together. I kind of get depressed. I'm like, man, I feel like such a jerk now. You know? Yeah. I'm like writing up all these insults about people's mothers and their weight and yes, <laughs> their looks. Oh and dear. Dress. Mental, mental uh, capacity. I'm like, man, I gotta tone some things down. I, I'm gonna stop running. I'm just gonna go for this guy because he's annoying me now. Yeah, and try if you get slaughtered. Hey, try you know, tone down the difficulty. Try again. Yeah, like I said, if you tone down the difficulty and you succeed, you're actually saving time versus trying the higher difficulties. Yeah. Now like, I'm just getting getting at my ass kicked now because he's out turning me. Yeah, and there's two against one. Try the secondary fire. Hold down the X key to charge it, and then try to like hit it straight on. Don't lead it at all. Ooh. Secondary fire is like is like more powerful, but it's, it takes a different skill to use. I got him a couple of times. He's got two percent yeah. health left. Nice. Oh man, can we win half of you? Kaboom. Nice. Yeah, your first kill. That's it. Remember yeah. this moment forever, my friend. And now I've got a second one. The Stormcrow guy who's been chasing me from the beginning. Yeah. If you notice, those guys have like armored shields on the side of them. Yeah. You don't want to be hitting those shields because they'll just like absorb damage until they get blown off. But you're probably just trying to uh, survive. It. Kill him. I'm trying to kill him! Try to angle yourself so it's it's like below you, so your turret helps out. Yeah, I could do. Rotate your ship with Z and T. Also, you could like strafe up, down, left, right. Right now, I'm strafing sideways. Oh, I've got a military. I think I've got what looks like a military thing helping me out. Cool. That's the that's the beauty of space sandboxes. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, like yeah. this could turn into like the most epic battle. For yeah. Control over the. Entire universe. Yeah, over. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was like, oh no! Can you just die, please? Yeah, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be uh, surprised how later on you're just like melting every space. Uh, th th this ship is meant to be like a, a, a huge stepping stone, you know. Yeah. When, when you jump out of it, you'll miss how fast it is. Yeah, but uh, that's about that's about it. Miss how fast it is, but I won't miss the uh, the lack the, of armor. The, the, yeah, and the rate of fire because it, it has like a pea shooter basically. Yeah, I can I, I can tell. Out there's ships with chain oh. guns later on. Well, I killed him by ramming him. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to jump to the nearest cool. civilian and place. You got a lot more money. For killing those two guys, you got something like 2,000, 3,000 credits. Uh, 7,448 I've got now. Nice. So you're, 
you can you can do like an engine upgrade or you can add a shield generator. Ah. And you can double your afterburner capacity, so you're better at running. But basically, if you buy a shield generator, that's probably your best bet because it'll increase your hit points. Yeah. This ship, it, it, it's a good ratio. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Considering. So definitely. Uh, yeah. Keep at it, my friend. It sounds like you're on your way to yeah. enjoying the game. Yeah, considering I know I'm almost dead, I definitely need to. Uh, yeah. Don't I'm, forget to repair yourself. Yeah. Or you can fly to a uh, repair uh, platform. That's so what I'm doing now. Uh, just go to the base. Yeah, new Troy. How about new Troy, whatever that is. Nice. Uh, has new Troy got an entrance? Could Definitely. I... If, if you're ever wondering where the entrance is, remember from the tutorial when you hit the ship C? That's to open comms. So you can, when you target the base, open comms and request uh, docking with it. And it'll, it'll tell you where to, uh, where to dock. So I, I targeted him. How do I? I can't remember how. Is it C? Shift is it? C. Like ah, Shift off. C. Right. Uh, and there's going to be a request uh, docking permission button. Yeah. Okay. And now you're going to see where uh, where the dock. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's funny because to me it's like really obvious, but it's it's not to you guys. You know what yeah. Because I mean? that's the thing with being a designer is is you miss some of these things. So that's why I added that function where it just tells you where to dock. Yay. Okay. So. I'm gonna repair my ship now. No, I don't want to undock. No, I pressed the wrong button. Just but, turn around. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll turn around. But okay, I'll stop recording for now. Uh, I will include a link to the game uh, in the description so you guys can give it a try if you so want to uh, when yeah, it comes out. Uh, once it goes on early access, which should be in about two weeks or so. My ship's oh. automatic repairing, by the way. Oh, oops. Must target to dock. Oopsies. <laughs> I just rammed the ship. Just bomb, and that's why that's why I don't that's why I don't kill you because I don't punish the player uh, for for like learning little learning things. You know, if, if I can avoid it, I'm not gonna kill the player. Right. If I was shooting at you, then you know, fine, I'll, I'll better off. Yeah. If you just smack into the base. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay. Right. I'm gonna save it. Call it Scotter Three. Scotter Three. So I can continue on from where I left before. If you guys want to see some more. Uh, it's been uh, nice talking to you, Paul. I'll probably, uh, yeah, yeah, invite you on, uh, well, invite you to talk with me in the future as I die horribly with bigger ships and bigger weapons. But that's all for me for now. See ya.